Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Nikla. Today I have a really cool nail tutorial idea for this video and I decided to do some like 3D she shell type of nails. So if you're ready to see what I've done to do these nails, sit back, relax, and continue watching. And if you're new here, how about go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other kind of nail video that I do on my channel. But other than that, like this video sometime throughout the video. But let's get started with this video. And I can't wait so we can break up out the to begin this nail tutorial, I just want to say I chose my nails to have an almond shaped on a couple of nails and square shaped on others to make it look cool and really emphasize on the she shell aspect of these nails instead of having all one shape. So that's what I wanted to do. Just saying. So to begin this nail tutorial, I started out with some of my translucent colors that I usually do on some of my other nail tutorials. So I had a translucent pink for the bottom part of the cuticle area on my thumb, middle finger, and wrist finger to give that nice flesh tone the she shell is gonna go into like a your natural nail color so that's why I have that pink at the bottom around the cuticle and then I have a more translucent milky white that I applied onto the top of the rest of the nail so I did just like a little tiny like rounded shape around the cuticle area and then filled in the rest with the white which gave this nice nice looking kind of like ombre looking nail too so that's what I did first so the next step for those three nails, I needed those nails to be dried. So I went ahead and just hopped over to my index finger and my pinky, which I just really want to emphasize on this beautiful color that I got to do these seashell nails. So I just paint them with that solid color, which was from LA Colors Color Craze, their gel like polish. And this one is called Tea Time. And I just applied two to three coats and make it nice and opaque. So I did like two coats right now. And then later on, I did another coat. Now the thumb, middle finger, and ring finger should be nice and dry. So I wanted this nice like wash color on the bottom before I applied the color on top. So I did the permanent marker marbling technique first. So I used a red permanent marker and I just scratched in at the tip of the nail and then right in the middle of the nail of the white section and then right where the white ends and where the pink starts, where it curves around, I did some red marks right there as well. Then I took a wide, a wide flat nail brush and with some nail polish remover and just dabbed the nail polish remover onto the red permanent marker to dispute the color and move that color around. Once on each nail, I was happy with the red look, I went back in with that milky white because it kind of went away. Now I used a liner brush and went back in with that main color, LA Colors Color Craze Gelish Light Polish called Tea Time and trying to like speckle in some of that color around the red sections that I just made. <laughs> Now you thought that was fun, we're on the most funnest part ever. Just like sit back and relax, you gotta keep watching. Now here's the 3D part of it. So, so now you're gonna need some gel polish. I wish I had some white gel polish to make it a little bit easier, but I don't. So I'm using what I have. So I have this gelish soak off gel polish foundation polish to build nails with a liner brush I dipped it into the gel polish and I whipped out my UV light I love this UV light so much so I whipped that out and applied some of that gel polish at the tip to kind of like have a ball and then slide it down and then hurry and put it under the UV light kind of like flash cure it for like 10 seconds and then you see this like a little bump on the nail from the gel polish and I applied another coat to really make that Readiness to really make those bumps onto the nail. So do like a first like little gel coat to emphasize where you want the little stripes to be and then I apply a second coat on top. And so on the thumb I did one right in the middle and three on the side. And then on the ring finger and the middle finger I did one in the middle with two on the side. Oh, so 
also wasn't that exciting so let's keep going now I want to emphasize these bumps because they're just clear right now so I went ahead and used some white from LA Colors Color Craze called Energy Source and I just went with a liner brush and applied that white onto every little bump very tedious but very worth it and it really emphasized what I needed and I did about two coats as well, if you made a little bit of some mistakes, you just go in with that flat nail wide brush and with some nail polish remover and fix up the white lines as well. So you could stop here and it, to me it didn't really look too much of a she shell to me. So then I went right back in with that main color that I used today from the LA Colors Color Craze that Jealous like polished the tea time and I just went on top of each section where I have done the color before to go on top of the white buffs now scratch in some more of that color. <laughs> Once I was done with that, I went back in and applied another, a third coat onto the index finger and the pinky with that same color as well, the tea time, to really make it opaque. I really needed it and really liked to seal everything in, so I went in with a new top coat, which I used from LA Colors. It's their quick color, uh, fast drying, clear top coat, and I apply that to every nail. Sometimes I'm selfish, get jealous I feel a little helpless My whole world has shifted again You made a So you guys, how do you like these nails? I really, really enjoy doing these nails. It's really different and I love the three aspect. And I really think these nails look like she shells. And I think these are so awesome and really cool. So if you think they're awesome and cool, cry about, try them out for yourself as well or just like go down below and give this video a like so I know you like them as well. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and like my nails today and so you won't miss out any other nail things that I do. And so thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. But other than that, I'll catch you back next week with another awesome video. Bye.